indigenous ethnic group of about 8 million living in Southeast Asia, and Mon An, one of the earliest peoples of Indochina. They founded one of the earliest civilizations in this region, which one included Central Thailand, Central Laos, and Northeastern Thailand. The Mon were the first receivers of Theravada Buddhism from Sri Lanka and are responsible for spreading Theravada Buddhism throughout modern-day Laos, Thailand, and Cambodia, where today Theravada Buddhism is the dominant religion. Today, the Mon live in southeastern Burma or Myanmar, mostly in Mon State, Pogo Division, and Irrawaddy Delta, and along the southeastern border of Thailand and Burma. The Mon have one of the oldest alphabets of Asia, and Mon script has been dated back to the year 550 AD. Mon history includes three great kingdoms based on Lower Burma, the first of which, the Tatong Kingdom, began around the year 300 BC. Over many, many centuries of warring with regional kingdoms, Mon religious and literary traditions spread throughout rival kingdoms in Thailand and Upper Burma. In the mid 11th century, Mon craftsmen and artisans helped to build over 2,000 pagodas at the ancient city of Bagan in central Burma. The Mon are credited with giving 33 their alphabets correct 35 characters for the Burmese script in the year 1058 thereby providing the Burmese kingdom with literacy. The Hong Savada kingdom is the most famous of the Mon kingdoms and founded in the 30th century. It was the strongest of all the kingdoms in Burma. However, war always continued between the Mon kingdoms and their original rivals. The last war of Hong Savado over the years 1752 to 1757 was very bloody and devastating. The result of this was that by the early 19th century, the Mon were no longer the dominant group of Southern Burma. Instead, they were now a minority group under the rule of an oppressive Burmese kingdom. continue to celebrate our rich cultural history through song, dance, food, storytelling, and clothing. Our clothes are simple but also handsome and elegant. Our traditional colors are white and red, and men and women both traditionally wear salons, which we can also call lunches. Mormises uses traditional instruments such as crocodile scissor, xylophone. Some have Swiss instruments and traditional drums. Traditional musicians usually play at moon festivals and Buddhist celebrations. celebrate the origins of our moon kingdoms and important events like our rice harvest. Traditional dances is unique in its elegance and accompanied with traditional music. The most important symbol of Mon is the golden shadrach or swan, which we call in Mon Bapto. 
This mythological bus represents the fountain of our moon kingdoms and its image can be found on our current moon plaque and in our traditional stands. one of the older literary traditions and we use storytelling to share our long histories and teach new moon generations life lessons learned from our old kingdoms. Taroda Buddhism is a very important part of moon life and we celebrate our major religious holidays. We must care very deeply about our rich history and every year we celebrate the fountain of the ancient Ansawata kingdoms during Moon National Day. This celebration allows us to reflect on our history, teach new generations about our histories and celebrate our proud and honorable cultures. For the last 50 years, Mon has battled Burmese military dictatorship and Burmese majority rule for more recognition and independence. Over this period, many Mon have had to flee their communities due to violent civil war. The current relationship between Mon and Burmese is slowly improving thanks to the end of the military dictatorship, the creation of a democratic government and the spread of national reforms. However, Mon political leaders continue to push for more federalism, which would allow Mon more opportunity to govern themselves. Over the last 50 years, the Mon has embraced a rural education system that promotes Mon language and literacy and provides basic education access to the remote Mon communities in southeastern Burma that are not supported by the Burmese central government. This education system prepares for the leaders of tomorrow with a specialized curriculum that both teaches our rich histories and matriculates graduates to Burmese government universities.
therefore, modern history, culture, language, and the traces continues to play a big role in the lives of our people and our new generations as we prepare for the future in which our modern ethnic groups once again allowed to participate in the building of the modern Burma.